Hey guys, in this SpaGR Studio tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a Winx filter like this for Instagram. So yeah, let's go! Hey again! For this project we are not starting here with a blank project because for this wing filter we will use a template and then we'll yeah, change the template a little bit so it works for the wing filter. Because the template we will use is the neck decoration template. So yeah, just search for it and then open it. So, when you successfully open the neck decoration template, you can see something like this here with the blue bow tie. So, and now we will use this template to create our wing filter. The first step I will do is to import my graphic assets. So, I have created this wing file I will import. So, yeah, just create an asset you want to use and then save it as a PNG with a transparent background. So then just import your PNG file by drag and drop into your assets panel. Then after the input is done, make sure the compression is set to none. So select the, the wing texture, go to the right hand side and here set the compression to none. So now we will of course create a material for our texture. So for this I go to my assets panel, click on the plus here, select material and I will rename this material to wings. So now we go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat. Now we go down to texture and here we select the wings texture. So then we go down to the advanced render options and here we yeah, disable use dev test and write to dev. So yeah, just disable those both those two options. So now we want to see our wings here on the preview. For this, we go to our scene and we yeah create a plane object. So for this, we go to the little plus at the scene panel and search for plane. Then we just insert it. So after we have inserted it, I will rename it to wings. Now we can already see our plane here in our scene, but yeah, it is disappearing, appearing and whatever. The reason for this is that we have here in this template this occluder under the face tracker. So yeah, select the occluder and then you can delete it or just set the visible, yeah, disable the visibility. So now we see our plane here in the middle of the screen. So the next thing is that we drag and drop our wings plane to the drag here null object. So that it is in this yeah, null object. So for this just drag and drop the wings into it. So now our plane is already following our movement and now we can delete the blue bow tie. So for this we search in the scene for the delete me object and yeah, just Deleted. So now we have just our plane. So now we select our wings plane again, go to the right hand side and set for the materials our wing material. So now the wings are pretty small and they are here on our neck, but we will change this. So I will set the scale up to let's say 8 for X and Y. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me and maybe a little bit up with the position so 0 0.1 at the y coordinate yeah looks pretty good to me so now we want this wings behind um, the user so to do this we need to create um, a segmentation so we have to segmentate the user from the background to do this we have to create a new material but before we do this we have to extract the segmentation uh, the segmentation texture from our camera object so we go to our scene and select the camera object then we go to the right hand side and here we can see that the texture the camera texture is already extracted so we just need the segmentation so search for segmentation and click on the plus and here we select person. So here just remove the unsupported platforms and then go to your assets panel. Because now we have to create a new material, um, I will rename this material to person. 
So then we select the material, go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat. Then we go down to texture and here we select the camera texture. The next step is that we enable the alpha option here and here for the texture we select our segmentation mask texture. So now we go down again to the advanced render options and here disable again both options. So now we need of course a new object in our scene for the person material. So to do this we go to our scene and now we create a rectangle object. So the rectangle object will now appear here on the left upper side of the screen. And now we have to make sure that this fills the width and the height of the whole screen. So select the rectangle in your scene, go to the right hand side and set the width to fill width and the height to fill height. Now just go down to materials and select the person. So and now the wings are already behind the user. So now you can play around with the scale or with the um, yeah, position of the wings. One important step you have to keep in mind is that this canvas object and the rectangle is underneath the wings plane here in the scene. So I show you why because when you when the canvas is the canvas is above the the yeah, null object the wings are still in front of the person but we want it in the back so make sure the canvas is underneath our wings and when something like this happened then that this gets stuck yeah just restart the filter so yeah this is all the magic behind the wings filter and i think that's that's a pretty nice filter so i will just uh, do uh, some adjustments to my wings so the position is a little bit too high so yeah this looks much better make it a little bit bigger and now I'm really satisfied on how this wing filter turned out. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.